Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to find the answer for chapter 6.3, number 17, in Stewart textbook. The question is to find a volume generated by rotating the region bounded by the given curves about the specified axis. So I have the two functions. I want to find the volume that is turning about x equals to 1. So let's start by drawing a little graph. Right. I know that 4x minus x squared is a quadratic function. And I know that y equal to 3 is a horizontal line. So I need to know where is the intersecting point. I know that this function is going upside down like this. So I know that I need to find the two intersecting points. So I would actually need to equate both of them. So I get minus x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals to 0. So if I factorize this, so I get minus x plus 1 and then x minus 3. So this is what I get as factorized form. So if you figure that out, x must be equal to minus 1. Oh, sorry, plus 1. So x equal to plus 1 to make it 0. And then I have x equals to 3. So it's from 1 to 3. So I have my point that is from 1 to 3. So the line, the curve probably look like this. So if it's something like this, okay, so this point is the intersecting point. So I have my line, oops, so let me undo that. So it will be some somewhere like this horizontal line okay so what i need to do is basically to find the volume that is revolving by this region but about the x equals to one axis so my axis is actually on the intersecting point and turning here now how do you want to draw your rectangle because you are actually assuming it's a rectangle that is turning right so it will become a either a washer method or a shell method, right? or a disk method. In this case, I would say it's either washer or shell because there's a gap in between. Um, now, if you want to draw your rectangle perpendicular, which is this way, okay, then the function on the right side had to subtract the left side. So that's complicated, right? So I want to draw my rectangle to be vertical, like this. Now, if it's vertical like this, then it will just be the top function subtract the bottom function. That one would be easier. But now the rectangle is parallel to the axis. So which method is this? This is basically the shell method because rectangle is parallel to the axis of revolution. Now, if I have that, I have to, this is basically the vertical rectangle. So it's in terms of X. And then I will need to figure out what is P and what is H. My P is basically the rectangle right of axis of revolution, which is our case. Our rectangle is on the right side of the axis of revolution. So I need to take X minus my axis, which is one in this case. So X minus one is my P. Okay. So let me write that down. P of X is basically X minus one. Now, how about my H? h of x is basically the top function subtract the bottom function. Okay, so that's top function is 4x minus x squared, subtract the bottom function, which is 3. So I basically end up with minus x squared plus 4x minus 3. That's my h. Now I can set up my equation now. My integral is from 1 to 3. 2 pi times, right, 2 pi times p times h dx. So that's basically x minus 1 and minus x squared plus 4x minus 3 dx, right? So this is what I have here. Now I need to multiply this bracket out so that it will be easier to evaluate the integral. I'll take out the 2 pi, 1 to 3. If I multiply it out, it will give me minus x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 3. 
Now you do the integral of this, which is easy, 2 pi in front, and then I have minus x to the 4 over 4 plus 5x cubed over 3 minus 7x squared over 2 plus 3x from 1 to 3. Now it's just plugging the numbers, right? So if you plug in the numbers, so let me just make it more on the left side. I have 2 pi. So it will be minus 3 to the 4th over 4 plus 5 times 3 to the 3 over 3 minus 7 times 3 to the 2 to the power of 2 over 2 plus 3 times 3 and all that subtract exactly the same thing replacing x by 1 so subtract 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 becomes a plus 1 over 4 subtract so it's every term is subtracting each term here so subtract 5 which is times x which is 1 so I'll just leave it as 1 over 3. Subtract, subtract becomes a plus 7 over 2. And subtract 3 times 1, which is 1. So I'll close the bracket. And the answer for this is equals to. So basically, you just need to put this into calculator or just calculate it by hand. Okay, so this is equals to 8 pi over 3. And that's my final answer. Okay, remember to figure out which method you need to use for your function so that it will be easier for you to evaluate. Okay, for more information about volume on shell method, please visit my website goforaplus.com.